and welcome back to Oh, It's Joe. Today, we're gonna be talking about my experience in the college circuit, going for my bachelor's, and was it a waste of time? Was it a waste of money? Did I benefit from it? Now let's just get this straight. This is my story and what I took from it. This is my experience. This is not me preaching anything. This is just me giving my opinion and my take on the world of the higher education. I wish I had someone to tell me more stories about what they thought of it going into my field and I didn't have that. So this is for anybody who wants to listen, anyone driving in the car. This is for anybody going for their filmmaking degree. Let's talk about it. So a little bit backstory. I have have my bachelor's degree. This is it. This is probably the first time I've ever been seen with it, showing it, talking about it. No one's ever even asked me to see it, but it exists. <laughs> Just kidding, I shouldn't be throwing that. I got my bachelor's degree at a state school in the fine arts of filmmaking. After finishing high school, I knew I wanted to go for a higher level of education, and I figured, let's start off small. I went to community college. I went for my first two years, and I got my associate's degree from there. This was such a smart choice for me at the time. I wasn't ready to go commit to something for four years, because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do or how I wanted to approach it. So getting all of those, the, the basic classes out of the way, I forget what they're called. All the social studies, the math, Spanish, the languages, all the things that I didn't need to focus for my elective. It helped me by the time that I needed before I figured out what I wanted to do. I've always been into the filmmaking. I've always wanted to shoot video. I knew that was what I had to go for. So I applied to NYU, didn't get in. I went to my secondary school, which was Montclair State University. Awesome school, awesome, awesome, awesome. Going to my state school, I was expecting to learn, I guess, a little bit more of the hands-on stuff because that's just what film making was, was being behind the camera, like shooting, directing, editing, all that stuff. I don't know if I expected a little bit more, or maybe I needed to be like guided through some things a little bit more, but I came out of school not really knowing as much as I thought I should. I got all of my education really from being hands-on, getting jobs, volunteering with other companies, just shooting and being out there. In school, I did have some basic classes, so editing, producing, acting even, which was a really cool experience. Screenwriting class was probably the biggest thing that helped me as far as how to like tell the arc of the story and like where it needs to end and just the keeping the viewer entertained. The biggest question to ask was, was this beneficial for me and what I'm doing now? To put it blatantly, it would be naive of me to say no, but shooting for companies and shooting video, working with people in the industry is what got me to where I am today because they're the ones who taught me the actual trips and tricks and tips for what I needed to learn to get to where I am. I hate to say it, but for me, the college experience was a cool experience, but was it necessary? No. And I know that sounds like a shock and it's even shocking for me to say it out loud because that's something that we are just raised to kind of follow the path. But for me, again, this is just what I think as far as it. Going into the arts, I could have gone to a technical school and possibly learned the same things, things that I didn't need to go in and learn about the social academics as far as like math. For me, like those classes, they didn't really get me to what I needed to do, I guess. Again, oh man, talking about this is really weird because I hate talking about like touchy stuff. I don't like confrontation. Um, college didn't really need to happen, I guess. It almost feels as if it was a couple years of my life that I just put on delay because especially now in today's age, there's classes online, there's classes, there's technical schools, there's different ways of obtaining an education that you can do. And I think back like 10 years ago, it was kind of just looked down upon like everyone just needed to go get their college degree. But now, not to say that there's a shortcut, but it's almost as if there's like a sharper way to obtain the knowledge that you need that you can achieve greatness for your craft and what you want to do. This is probably a short story time. If you're looking for the college experience, it was awesome. Living on your own and living in a dorm, living in an apartment with people who are all going for the same things. It was a great transition into the real world for sure. So as far as growing up, it did help. But for the business world, for where I am and with what I do, I think I could have done without the college degree. Uh, not one person has ever asked to see my degree. And then anytime that I do bring up that I have my bachelor's degree, it's kind of just like, oh, good for you. I kind of feel weird just saying it because nobody even has. But again, I'm not going for a traditional job. For what I'm doing as far as freelance and just working for myself, I clearly don't need to ask myself if I have my degree. So, I don't know, college, was it a waste of money? Was it a waste of time? Yes, no, maybe so. My take, I probably could have done without it. It's naive to say that it didn't help me because I'm sure it did. I know it did. Deep down, I know it did. I feel like there could have been a shorter way to get to what I wanted to do. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. I do want to know if you went to college, if you're going to college, if you're planning on it, where are you planning on going? I went to a state school after getting my associate's degree. Associates is the first two years at a community college, and then you go to uh, another school to get your bachelor's degree, which is four years. Life is difficult. Life is tough. Life is fun. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. New videos every day, basically almost. We're crawling up there. We're at six days a week now. So make sure to like, subscribe, keep 
browsing through the videos because if you don't like me, I collab with like everybody. So maybe you'll like them. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.